Okay, today we're going to go over uh, train versus carrier gas furnaces. Essentially, it's just comparing the two uh, side by side. And um, <clears throat> it's just to give you, a, if, you're per if you have to make a decision on purchasing one or the other, these are the top of the line uh, comparisons. And if you go to highperformancehvac.com, train versus carrier gas furnaces, um, you'll find an article on it. <clears throat> As always, we appreciate you sharing our site on uh, social media and um, getting getting the word out there and also subscribing to the YouTube channel. Um, <clears throat> As we go down through the article, you, we have the efficiency ratings for carrier and then uh, train for these particular models. Um, that's the top FU rating for those particular furnaces. It's important to note that um, if you purchase one of these uh, furnaces, it's very important that it's installed properly. Otherwise, you likely will not get that efficiency rating uh, from the furnace that you purchase. Um, this is more like a mid-level uh, efficiency rating, although pretty much the top efficiency ratings for most manufacturers go up to like 98.6 or 7 somewhere in there and then uh, the lowest that they can sell um, by government regulation is 80 AFU so uh, you have a wide range between there but um, the, the, the higher efficiency furnaces are typically condensing gas furnaces which these are condensing gas furnaces which means that they have a secondary heat exchanger that pulls more heat out of the system. And uh, in that case, you can utilize uh, PVC for your vent, your gas vent. Um, <clears throat> anyhow, um, we describe the furnaces here, and then we have a comparison matrix chart where you can go down and read the features, side-by-side -side features. And uh, these are two-stage gas furnaces. Um, <clears throat> they they can be hooked up with a conventional thermostat, or you can get the communicating thermostats to hook up uh, to them. Um, I would say, looking at this, I would uh, I would rather have variable speed versus uh, like a four-speed motor or whatnot. Um, this has a, a variable speed blower in the carrier, but a four speed blower in the in the train. Uh, however, if you go down to the inducer motors, which is the the uh, motors that induce a draft into the heat exchangers, um, train has a variable speed draft motor, and uh, carrier has a two speed draft motor. With the emphasis or the better one being carrier with the variable speed blower. Um, <clears throat> which gives you more comfort and depending on how it's set up of course and that's up to the installation crew and that's why I say it's very important that you get the proper setup uh, for that um, <clears throat> these are mainly aluminized steel primary heat exchangers and uh, the secondary heat exchanger stainless steel and uh, the reason you want stainless steel for secondary heat exchangers is because the corrosive um, liquid that's that's condensed out of the flue gases um, that they will eat through a regular um, heat exchanger. So you want the stainless steel. Um, these are the capacities and BTUs, um, and then the Energy Star ratings, and, and pretty much. Uh, both of them have lifetime limited um, heat exchanger warranties uh, and 10-year parts warranties on the the other uh, parts. But I always recommend when somebody purchases a furnace that they go with, if, if it's available, that they go with a parts and labor uh, warranty. And that way you don't have to worry for 10 years or so, however long the warranty is good for. Uh, for paying for parts or labor and make sure you get a good uh, contractor uh, because some contractors 
it has to be a train certified or carrier certified contractor. Uh, but just make sure you get a good contractor. Otherwise, uh, I could share horror stories with you about installations and problems that it caused and efficiency ratings and in causing the equipment to break down and, and uh, be problematic for the people uh, over a period of time. So, again, the most important thing is not really the name brand, but uh, the, the installation contractor. Make sure they're qualified. Make sure they're solid. They have a good good business uh, reputation and uh, that they do their work properly. Um, and then down here we go through and describe everything uh, for you. And we also <clears throat> um, give you a few pointers on when you're purchasing new equipment. And again, once again, we appreciate you uh, sharing us on social media. You can do that with the handy buttons we have here. Uh, and subscribing to our YouTube channel. Uh, don't forget we have HVAC random tip box at the bottom that uh, changes with the tips. And then there's a, usually a hyperlink that will take you to a full article that will uh, help you understand that particular tip more. Uh, thank you. And uh, don't forget to bookmark highperformancehvac.com.